looking for a makeup collection video and I am going to do that soon but um, I've got some storage problems at the moment and I want to figure out that before I actually show you my makeup collection and my storage and so on so stay tuned on my channel for that one but to kind of like compensate and make you guys happy I've chosen to do a perfume collection um, I am in love with all of my perfumes or at least almost all of them um, and I decided you know what I am crap at describing scents and fragrances and perfumes and just smells just generally um, you probably all know that by now and therefore I decided you know what I want to be very sorted with this video so I've actually done some research about all of my perfumes in order to make sure that I give you the right information about the notes in the perfumes and what kind of style the perfume is and so on. I really hope that you'll find this video helpful if you're looking for a new perfume or anything like that and hopefully you will enjoy this video and yeah, I'll begin. As you can see, here's my entire collection and I've got 21 perfumes. Some are only like travel sample size um, perfumes. But, um, without further ado, I'll get into them and show you them individually. So the first perfume I'm going to show you is my Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh um, perfume. This is one of my ultimate summer perfumes. Um, it is just so fresh and so lovely and florally. And as you can see, I've used a lot of this. I bought this last year when I went to the US and I... I honestly used a lot. Um, I haven't really used it during winter that much but now that it's spring and summer I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. This perfume has got notes of natural raspberry, grapefruit, pear, violet, wild rose, apple blossom, musk, cedarwood and plum. It's got a lot of like florally um, notes in it which is really lovely. If you're into your florally scents then this is definitely one that you have to check out. And I would say that the kind of like style for this um, perfume is very bubbly, exhilarating and happy and just summery. The next perfume is also from Marc Jacobs and this is the one called Honey, which is, I think it's one of the most newest um, perfumes. The bottle kind of like reminds me of the one called Dot, um, which, which has got a ladybug on there, but this one has got like bumblebees on there Which is really really cute and it's got this lovely packaging that's kind of like Golden and yellow and bumblebee-ish, so it's really really cute and also very summery To me, it's got a very feminine and fruity scent But also kind of like it's got those hints of sweet honey as well yeah, it's really, really lovely. And it's got notes of pear, juicy mandarin, orange blossom, peach nectar, apricot, honeysuckle, honey, golden vanilla, smooth woods. I would say the style of this perfume, it's very youthful and also very playful, summery and kind of like sassy in a really funny way. It's, I like the smell of it. It's very youthful and if you like your sweet scents, then this is a really great one. The next one is also from Marc Jacobs. I love my Marc Jacobs perfumes, let's just face it. <laughs> and this is the one called Oh Lola. I've got kind of like mixed feelings about this perfume. I love the packaging, let's just say that this is probably one of the most amazing um, perfume bottles I've ever seen in my entire life. But I remember the first time I smelled this, I was like, it smells like soap. Still, you know, some days I just feel like it's a perfect womanly, flirty scent, but some days I'm just like, I can't wear that at all. So um, sometimes I feel like it smells awful on me and sometimes it smells amazing on me. So I've kind of, I've got kind of like mixed feelings, definitely. And it's got notes of raspberry, vanilla, peony and pear and cyclamen. And I would say the style of this is probably more like vibrant and flirting, flirtatious and yeah, just very sensual in a good way. 
So I would definitely say that I would wear this for, you know, like some special events, like if you're going on a date or something like that. The next perfume is from Chloe, and then this is the one called Chloe. Um, I think this is like the original Chloe perfume. I've gone through actually, I think two of these, and this is my third bottle. It is so good, I swear to God. It's one of my go-to everyday, all year round perfumes. It is so, so good because it's so feminine, it's so youthful, but still very womanly. It's just such a lovely scent. I just feel like I can wear this all day, every day, you know, and it stays on me for a pretty good time. I mean, it's not a 24 hour lasting perfume, but it lasts for several hours on me, and the scent is just really lovely. It's not too strong, it's just a very mild, very aromatic and lovely scent, and I love it. I really, truly love it. It's got notes of pink piney, freesia, like uh, magnolia flower, lily of the valley, rose, cedarwood, amber, and honey. And the style of this perfume is definitely stylish, woman, big city. You have to go smell it because it's just amazing. My next perfume is this one also from Chloe and it's the one called Love Chloe. I don't think they do this anymore, but um, I'm not sure, so don't hate on me if I'm wrong. I find that when I go to like just grocery shopping or go meet up with a friend or something like that, I actually wear this and as you can see, I've used fairly much of it. I've only got like that much left. So it's been well loved and it's got notes of orange blossom, pepper, hyacinth, iris, lilac, wisteria, heliotropine, musk talc rice powder. This style is very feminine and also very chic and kind of like romantic and graceful, you know, just very feminine and womanly. The next perfume I'm going to show you is from Balenciaga and it's the one called Flora Botanica. And let's just say the packaging is so cool. I really like it. It looks kind of like mysterious and dangerous in a really cool way. I think it was Kristen Stewart who was like muddled for this um, perfume. So I was just like, I have to try it. Um, and I've only got it in the small size. Um, and as you can see, I've used little over half of the perfume and it is just so great because to me it's a very special scent. If you want to draw attention to yourself then you should probably wear this because it draws attention because it's such a mysterious and mm, in your face scent. The notes in the perfume are carnation, wild mint, Turkish rose essence, hemp leaves, vetiver roots and white amber and the style of this is very kind of like dangerous and mysterious and also botanic. I mean, it's very earthy, but still with that mysterious twist in it. Very, very special scent, definitely. The next perfume is from Burberry, and this is the Burberry Britcher Eau de Toilette. And as you might be able to see, I'm almost out of it. I love this. This is also one of my go-to everyday, all year round fragrances. It's just such a girly scent and it actually reminds me a lot of my teen years because um, when I was younger I used this every single day because it's just such a girly, girly, girly scent. I think for teenagers and young girls this is the perfect starting out perfume because it is very like playful and just very also just very subtle in the scent. It's got notes of Bright Jusu, pineapple leaves, lychee, mandarin, grapes, pink piney, peach blossom, nashi, white musk, and uh, creamy amaris woods. Oh, so many notes, God. <laughs> to me, the style of this perfume is very playful, hypnotic, and very, very wearable for everybody, but especially for like teenage girls or youthful people. Next perfume is also from Barbary, and it is one called Bunny. And this is one of my most grown-up womanly scents that I got. Um, and I would say I only wear this on really special occasions, like if I'm going on a date or if I'm going to, I don't know, a fine dinner or 
something like that, just very special events because to me this is like, when I wear this, I'm a grown up. So that's kind of like my feelings with this one. It is just such a mature and luxurious perfume and the scent is stunning, I mean just stunning. It's got notes of freesia, green absinthe, peach rose, iris, sandalwood, cashmeran, musk, amber and vanilla. The style of this is definitely upper class, luxurious, but also kind of like fruity and, I don't know, kind of like sweet but not too sweet, it's just very elegant. And then I've got a little sample size here of the new Burberry perfume called Brit Rhythm for her Eau de Toilette. It's a very powerful and sweet scent and yeah, I would say that it's just a very lovely scent. and. I think when I'm out of this little one here, then I'm actually going to uh, purchase the full size because it is a really lovely scent and to me this is one of those scents that I can wear every day. And it's got notes of British lavender, orange blossom, vetiver and musk. And the style is very sensuous and feminine and I don't know, just bewitching. Last Burberry perfume I promise is the one called Touch for Women. And I've had this for so many years and I'm almost um, through, I, I'm not sure if it's like really that great anymore. It still smells good but I can see that it's a bit grumsy and gross so I'm not sure if I'm going to use them that much more. To me this is a very spicy scent. Like, I think it's hard to describe but to me it's kind of like a man-ish um, smell. Yeah, so it's very strong and spicy and to me it's not a very feminine um, perfume. It's got notes of berries, peppercorn, jasmine, lily, tuberose, uh, cedarwood, oak wood and vanilla. And the style is very strong and to me a bit manly but very aromatic. The next perfume is also one of my oldies and it is the DKNY Be Delicious um, perfume and I think Almost all girls own this perfume. I mean, I remember when I was like 15, everybody had to have this um, perfume, so I also had to have it, obviously. Um, so I bought it, and I don't know if I'm in love with the scent of it. You know, it smells like really fresh apples. It's definitely not my favorite perfume, and I don't use it on an everyday basis because I think it's a very strong, fresh scent. Um, that is very penetrating, but I would say sometimes I use it when I want to be a little bit more awake and just feel a bit more, you know, like fresh and in your face. The notes are American apple, cucumber, grapefruit, candied magnolia, tuberose, white milkweed, rose, violet, sandalwood, tender skin, accord, blunt woods, and white amber. And to me, this is a very, once again, youthful. Maybe a bit free-spirited perfume, but also kind of like big city chic. Donna Karen, who um, made this perfume, she was kind of like inspired by, you know, like the big city life and so on. So. Here is my ultimate summer scent in the entire world. Nothing beats this. This is my Stella McCartney summer perfume. And... Oh my god, it is so, so, so good. Such a fresh, lovely, go-to summer scent. It just reminds me of summer and summer nights and just, you know, like, sunny days and just, yeah, just really summery scent. I mean, it's hard to describe. It's got notes of frosted lemon, green apple, date, rose, Bulgarian rose, peony and amber accords. And the style of this is definitely summery, fresh, florally, and just a really lovely scent. Um, I would definitely say that everyone can wear this because it's just so fresh, florally, lovely. The next perfume I'm going to show you is also my newest purchase. And I show you this in my spring um, haul. And um, this is the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce perfume and I love the packaging that was kind of like the thing that just drew me into buying it actually besides of the amazing scent obviously um, and it's just an extremely fresh but very subtle perfume that I am going to use a lot 
during the spring and summer. Um, it's got notes of neroli leaves, papaya flowers, white amaryllis, um, white daffodil, white water lily, cashmeran, musky notes and sandalwood. And to me the style of this is very delicate, feminine and joyful in a way, just very springy and also florally and just lovely. Next scent is from Lancôme and it is the Tresson Midnight Rose and one of my favourite actresses Emma Watson was actually the model for this perfume and when I saw her advertised with this perfume I was just like I have to go get it because if she likes it I will like it. It is the perfect night out, romantic, seductive scent. And the notes are blackcurrant, raspberry, rose, absolute, um, jasmine, vanilla, setter and musk. And to me this is a very mischievous and desirable and, I don't know, flirty night out scent. Next is my Giorgio Armani C perfume. This is probably my current favourite perfume because it is just so good. Um, it's very chic and when I wear this I feel like a real woman, like so feminine but still strong and independent. It's got notes of blackcurrant nectar, musky wood, Sicilian bergamot, mandarin oil, rosemary, neroli, jasmine, blonde woods, amber and vanilla. And the style of this is very chic and modern and feminine and Oh, just a real woman scent. Then I've got my Gucci Envy Me perfume, which I got first time when I was 13, I think. Um, to me, it's a very youthful, girly, flirty scent. I feel like that now that I'm older, me and this perfume has gone our separate ways in a way. So I don't really use it that much anymore. Um, it is a lovely scent, don't get me wrong, but we've definitely gone our separate ways. It's got notes of pomegranate, pineapple, pink musk, peony, jasmine, pink pepper, lychee, syringa, white tea, sandalwood, teakwood and sensual musk. The style of this is probably very playful and daring and um, yeah, youthful I guess. I mean, I, I loved it and it made me feel so sparkly and, I don't know, young and pretty and wild and free. Then I've got my probably all-time favourite perfume ever. This is the Dior Miss Dior Cherie. I, I Seriously, I fall in love with this every time I smell it. It is so good. It's very romantic and lovely and really addictive. I always get so many compliments when I wear this perfume because the scent is just so penetrating in a really lovely way. Go try to get a sniff of it because as soon as you've sniffed it, you are addicted. It's got notes of Halion, Mandarin Essence, Egyptian, Jasmine, Absolute, Indonesian, Patchouli Essence. And um, the style of this is very pure and very feminine and elegant and just classic really. Then I've got my Naomi Campbell Cat Deluxe um, perfume which I actually also got from my um, first real boyfriend. So once again this is one of those perfumes that just brings back so many great memories. Once again it's one of those fragrances that I like but I feel like that I've, we've kind of like grown apart. It was my go-to teen scent so when I want to feel girly and sweet and nice and go back to those throwback moments, then I wear this. And it's got notes of freesia, cardamom, accords, peach, vanilla, petroli and musk. And the style of this is definitely youthful, girly, but still seductive. And then I've got my Carolina Fleming um, Josephine perfume, and this is my least favourite perfume of all of the perfumes that I've got. This is such a bland and boring scent. I don't want to hate on Carolina Fleming because I think she's an amazing person. She named it after her daughter and I would say she could have done a better job. I haven't really done any research on this because actually I wouldn't recommend any of you guys to go get it. Um, I'm so sorry, no hate, I love you Carolina Fleming if you watch this, but just not my favourite scent. 
And lastly, I've got two sample sizes here. This one is called Forever Red, and I'm actually not even sure where it's from. Um, so I, I, I couldn't even do some research on it. But it's a very sweet scent, and if you know where this is from, please let me know. Um, I haven't really worn it that much, but I think I'm going to store it in one of my smaller handbags and then have it with me. If and the other one is from YSL, just a sample size of the Bell Diopium. I'm not really in love with this scent. I wouldn't recommend any fragrances or things that I don't like to you guys, so... Um, I wouldn't recommend it. To me, it's very like old ladyish and not really my style. And that was my perfume collection. I hope that this video isn't too long. I mean, I tried to be very informative and very precise and sorted. And I really hope that it helped you to get to know all of the notes in the different perfumes and my kind of like feelings about them and kind of like the styles of them as well. There's really no red thread between all of these um, perfumes. I mean, I'm not into one kind of perfume at all. I'm very like spread out and I like all kinds of different scents. Um, but I would say to me, I like my feminine girly scents. And that is probably the ones that I've got most of. Without much more to say, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. It makes me so happy. Else, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye!